we're putting the finishing touches on our comprehensive iPad Pro 9.7 inch review, which we'll be publishing in a couple of days. In the meantime, we figured we'd bring you a quick unboxing and overview of Apple's newest tablet, and we're doing it right now. Stay tuned. The 9.7 inch iPad Pro takes the A9X chipset found in the larger model and brings it to the smaller form factor. You also get the four speaker configuration found in this larger sibling rather than the two speaker setup found on previous models in the 9.7 inch size. You also get that thin form factor measuring in at 6.1 millimeters and weighing 0.96 pounds. What you don't get is the four gigabytes of RAM found on the original iPad Pro. With the 9.7 inch model, you get two gigabytes, which is the same as what you'll get if you pick up an iPad Air 2. It has the 12 megapixel rear camera with f2.2 lens that you'll find on the iPhone 6S, which can capture 4K video, 240 frame per second slow motion video, and live photos. It's also the first iPad to ever feature a flash. In this case, it's the True Tone flash, also taken from the back of the current iPhone. Around front, the iPad Pro sports a 5 megapixel FaceTime HD camera with Retina flash with True Tone. It's the best camera Apple has ever put into a tablet, although, as with Apple's flagship smartphone, you'll get the antenna bump on back. The display on the iPad Pro is amazing. It's a 9.7 inch LED retina display with a 2048 by 1536 resolution matching the resolution of all the previous 9.7 inch iPads with retina displays. The iPad Pro starts at $599 and that gets you 32 gigabytes of storage and Wi-Fi connectivity. There are also 128 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte models as well, which cost an extra $150 and $300 respectively. Add cellular capabilities and you add another $130 to the price. You get the power button up top, the three pin smart connector on the left for accessories, and a 27.5 watt hour battery on the inside. The Apple Pencil works just as nicely on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro as it does on the 12.9 inch model. The Apple Pencil sells for 99 bucks. Since the iPad itself is smaller, Apple released a smaller smart keyboard for the iPad Pro 9.7 inch model. This means that the keys and overall space on the keyboard are smaller. The smart keyboard sells for $149 for the smaller iPad Pro and $179 for the larger model. And there you have it guys, that was my first look at the new smaller iPad Pro. If you're as hyped as I am for our full review, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be one of the first to know when we publish the iPad Pro review, as well as all of our other tech videos. It helps us out a lot and I appreciate the support. Oh, and if you wanna win some cool tech, head on over to our gadget giveaways playlist to see what we're giving away right now and how you can enter to win. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Andrew Edwards and I'll catch you in the next video.